so you still haven't said Bobby's name, her name, <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I've I don't noticed know that. Her. I know you don't his know her, but you know her name, yes, right? And you, I, I feel like you purposely probably haven't said her name. Did you feel a way about the interview? I felt the way when I saw the re- I saw the I didn't know again when I when I tweeted wherever I tweeted that was initial reaction of like <laughs> I wake up okay he's doing some other non hip hop shit mm-hmm. I don't like it it and looks that's weird problem. to me and you said you had to that stand was my, on that was my real reaction okay to be fair people have said it's actually good it you is. know I found Whatever. it very we just said yeah. it all earlier like that it. we like seeing entertainers personalities we really saw Drake's personality I feel like during and that. He, that's what he said to me he's like that's a yeah he was, being he was a like goofy. that's a friend of mine Yachty's a friend. That's why he was mad at me for critiquing them because he was like, yo, okay. she's cool. She's a friend. I mean, I've heard they unfollowed each other now. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But at that time, I was like, yo, okay. um, that was just my initial reaction. Okay. It wasn't a big editorial decision of like, oh, this <laughs> is big, not quality. Like, stand, this yeah. was like, I just saw the optics and I knew he had did the whole bar stew weirdo mm-hmm. shit and like this shit. And like, I was just like, <laughs> uh, he's slick hating right now. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like slick hating right now. Okay, now say that. That was my reaction. Yeah, I know. I, like, like, but again, I apologize, and again, hip hop shits on apologies because it seems weak yeah. and corny. Jay Z apologized to Nas or the baby mama. We like, like you apologies. can't apologize in hip hop without no, shit like in twenty twenty three. But I should have, but I should have, before you, I mm-hmm. should have at least let him know how I felt before I put it to the world. Got gotcha. you. And understand that power of like, okay, now if it goes to the world. Everybody weighs in. It becomes its own thing. So mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, sorry, Rez. Oh no, off. I was just about to say to your apology point. I feel like in 2023, now that you know we've lost a lot of legends, life is short. People are very a lot more sentimental now. I feel like people kind of appreciate apologies. You don't? Do you I not think so? so they didn't appreciate mine. <laughs> <laughs> and hip hop. And hip hop. I appreciated it. There's yeah. a lot it's of not, content based but, on mine. Yeah, like, nah. Apologies. What does it mean to Elliot Wilson apologize? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm on Vlad TV or whatever yeah, the fuck. Nah. Like, I don't know. Like, Come on, so, L, apologies ain't salacious. What, what's exactly. the reason behind the apology? Is because when I hear you apologize, so. You know my affiliation, my introduction to a lot of people is Joe Budden, yes, right? Sir, right? So I take a lot of what he does because I had a first-hand experience, like right, a yep. fucking front row seat to how he operates, how he moves, the decision he makes. Mm-hmm. Like I was there. So let me not let me not speak for Joe, but he has prided himself on not interviewing guests, right? Mm-hmm. And a part of that is so he cannot be compromised as a media personality. Right. So when you say, hey, I apologize to Drake, you know, let bygones be bygones. Is it because you want to really keep that relationship intact? Do you no. want another interview? Like, what's the reason behind apologizing for be- doing because it, what he's, you did? Because he's looked out for me. Nobody's had more Drake interviews than I have. I've had like five it's- or six, what the fuck, and definitive moments with him. Right. So he's the star of this level stature. He's given me all this. So... Out of respect, I should have at least let him know how I felt before I let it out to the world. Simple as that. Genuine. Now, what does that what does that mean down the words? Does it get like Damn, Alice thinks that that never is going to resolve it anyhow, and it may <laughs> not. I think it will it be. may not. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't matter. It's like at the end of the day, it's like I built a rapport with Jay. Where we're at that point, right? Right. Right. Jay Z is actually my friend yeah. in real life. So I would have done the same with him yeah. with those behind the scenes conversations. So that's all it means. It's just like it's what here's the thing about Joe. Even if Joe doesn't interview people per se, as you probably know, whatever Joe says, his phone's ringing. Mm-hmm. People are gonna he's accountable to what he says because mm-hmm. like, he has power, impact, and influence. So mm-hmm. he's got a massage or whatever, deal with these like mm-hmm. reactions to what he's his view of people are on his platform, mm-hmm. regardless mm-hmm. whether he interviewed them or not. But I ain't gonna front. So Al. you have to manage that all the time. Like, cause yeah. what you say matters. If you have that power where what you say matters that if I say this all of a sudden, that's the headline on this. Mm-hmm. Like niggas is still talking about me and Drake. Like, like how many how weeks ago was I'm it? A, when I'm gonna tell happened? you why though, bro. Cause it's, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. Big LA? Big LA. Big LA. Tell Big LA why. Yeah, I'm going to tell you why. You come over as the dude that took five, six cookies out the jaw, right? Five, six interviews, right? Uh-huh. And then when other niggas came to come take some cookies, wasn't no cookies left. Is this true? <laughs> because, this the baker, true because the baker ain't want to make none left. Do you, you know agree or no? So maybe coming from you, because you had five, six of them, it's like, well, damn, L. Yeah. You, you like greedy, like greedy. greedy. Yeah, it came off like <laughs> you're not being full. Greedy, you're not full. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? Because you That's L. fair. And That's he respects fair. you. Okay. I know he does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's fair. I yeah. mean, I agree with that. Yeah. Like, But again, I just, but then the, the other side of it, like I was saying yes. earlier, like, I'm also protective of our culture. Like, I mm. feel like I hate when it's like you can't That's what sit with about. us because you want that validation from outside our culture. Like, I get that the awkward, weirdo, <laughs> non hip hop interview shit is trendy. He hating it. Is. I love it. Is it. Like, I, love I it. get that. But at the same time, it's like, 
I think you'd have to have a balance, right? Sure. Like, you know, Yachty could do full send, but Save then he Sunday. did he did sit with act. Like yeah. that's the ba- Wait, say, that's that's been been my whole argument on this podcast. There's gotta be a balance. But I feel like I need a balance. Doing a balance. Doing a balance. You know? I mean, I don't care who he... you talk to, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be YN again. It doesn't yes. have to be. And that's what I was saying. It, I was it, genuine it when I said that. Anybody else? Right. But when and, I see and, you sit with Billy Eilish and you, you promise these people these interviews, you promise drink champs, you promise rap. Oh, we do love. Okay, but like, can we give him a chance to have the balance? So he did one interview with Bobby, and now now he's a trend of a non. But now, but who knows? In a few months, he would have done drink champs. Like we don't know that there could have still. That's that balance, true, right? but you don't we're think like, so? Drink, but L, you don't think the balance is all the years that he's giving to platforms from the culture, the 10 plus years, even you know what I'm saying? Like he did maybe, one Bobby oh, course, maybe the next run is balancing out for the you know the youth, right? Isn't that balance as well? Couldn't that be seen as balance? <laughs> I got, got, got like, no, no, <laughs> got, no. no. Sip on your drink. <laughs> <laughs> Big L. I don't I, yeah, I don't I don't know. I yeah. just think that I think that people are very selective. Like you said, we talked about earlier, it's like it's rarer to get an interview regardless, right? Because yeah. it's such a hidden gem now. Like the, mm-hmm. the, I guess like we said earlier, Reg was saying, like, the interviews have a higher value now because it's so little. Like the big stars feel like they don't have to do it. Right. Mm-hmm. I come from an era where it's like, you got an album coming out, you got to do the cover story, right? Yeah. You got to do the interview somewhere. You're going to do the XXL cover, you're going to do the Vibe cover. Mm-hmm. You know, so, like you have to do something to sell your record. Now you don't anymore. So mm-hmm. I think the interviews and everything gets more, the stakes are higher, I guess, is mm-hmm. what it comes down to. So. It is.